Hello everyone, welcome to a new studio vlog, a recap of the months of January and February. I still want to share studio vlogs about my life as an artist, sometimes I think about how I would love to look back one day and see the journey I have walked, so here is a compilation of what I've did in those months. Mostly work, hope you enjoy watching my simple life as an artist. January was my birthday, so my husband gave me the kitty ear headphones I have been wanting for a couple of years now, but this month was also very busy for me. I was working on an illustration project for the Women's International Month and I had to create three portraits of women icons from the spirits industry. I was handed a brief with all the information I needed, as for the reference pictures I will use to create the images. In the meeting, we agree on a natural background concept for all three pieces as a way to unify the portraits and for people to know they belong to a series of illustrations. In the middle of every work, I do try to keep myself healthy and with my strengths up. So I eat some tasty snacks in my breaks. One of the things I've been loving here are bread toast, you'll see I'm a celiac, so I can eat gluten or normal bread, but this one tastes really good and I enjoy to make some toast with butter, salt and sometimes an egg. And of course my beloved orange juice, one of my favorite things to drink. Of course I could not forget my social media, so in between feedback I keep uploading stories and trying to create new art for my Instagram account. And keeping my YouTube channel going on. I want to stick to my posting schedule even though sometimes I have to delay the videos a little, like this one. <laughs>
For vlogs, I create the script after it's edited, since I don't know what I'm going to film. So I write the story of what happened once I have the full edited video. This will help me either record the voiceover or to add the captions onto the video. Lately, my cat has been asking me for be on my desk while I'm working. She started meowing at me and calling me with her paw until I put her up. <laughs> then she just stayed there and falls asleep or just wants me to pet her like this day so I can have learned to do both things at the same time. Pet her and check my emails or work. One of my New Year's goals was to start a new sketchbook. I haven't drawn in one in at least three years and I have been needing a way there to put my creative energy without the pressure of making it perfect, let the hand flow and get lost and just draw whatever I feel like. Also, I have been missing to draw with ink and colored pencils. This was one of the pages of January if you want to see the full sketchbook tour, you can find it on my Patreon page. Thank you. 
Now back to work. I had really good feedbacks while working on the project, but also had a lot of creative freedom. My opinion was heard and taken into account very seriously, which was an amazing experience, since my main goal was to create beautiful piece of art that express in the best possible way the character of this woman, but also that I can feel satisfied with the end results. One of the tools I have been using more lately is the text tool on Procreate. Whether it is to place the text as a reference or to be part of the artwork itself, it has helped me a lot on to speed up some process since I'm not having the best skills when typography or hand lettering comes up. It was so cloudy and moody all January that when in February the sun started to come up again, there was someone very happy about it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I want to be honest with you guys. I've been trying to keep Felicia alive. She has lost many leaves and I had to report her again. I really want to have more plants in the house, but first I need to learn how to keep them from dying. It's not one of my fortes, but I really want to be a plant mom someday. Sometimes I like to light my incense to clean the vibes in the house and also because it brings me peace and calms my anxiety. It was one of the things that I did a lot when we were living in Spain at moments where I was really stressed out and I found that the smell, it kind of soothed my emotional states and bring me into a state of calm again. As you can see, it was a couple of busy months for me, but I enjoy my life so much and I enjoy making art. We did go out and celebrate my birthday, our anniversary and Valentine's Day, but those moments I kept it in my soul and memories. If you make it to this point of the video, I wanted to thank you so much for watching. You can see all the three full portraits on my Instagram page at Chelsea Escalona Art and hope that you have enjoyed this very simple and calm studio vlog. As always, remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one. Bye!